Yo, welcome to episode 19 of the Tsukino's Route. A few days later, after the chaos of hiring finishes, it's finally time for my first mission. VSS pilots are lining up in the operation room. This will be the first time I have worked with them. I wonder if we're gonna meet any new characters. I greet them nervously. None of them say anything. Just not all together. Like they're being directed by an invisible puppet master. Every single one of them is ex as expensive as a statue. None of them even have the slightest interest in me. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm some hacker kid forced on them by the president of the company. Tsuki now runs in, breaking the heavy silence in the process. なんだよ。作戦室への立ち入りは禁止のはずだぞ。ああ、通る。講習を馴染みにつけてないでしょ。VSS じゃサポートは AI が担当するって知らないの？ちょっとるけど。でも、じゃあお前一体何をするんだ
here. We can replace this with a shotgun. Where is it? Shotgun. This will be... The shotgun will be... What's line laser? Hmm. Can you move all these things? Yeah, barely. Oh my god, this has horrible accuracy. Alright. Uh, line laser. I'm just trying to set up a better... Just to flow into my moves a lot better. Eh, that's fine. That's really cool. That's really fucking cool. I didn't think I, I could actually combo off of a shield. Two, three, one, two, two. All right, let's try force crash afterward. One, two, three, one, two, two. Force crash. That's fucking cool. A <laughs> new combo learned. All right, almost forgot. Yeah, not forgetting this time. Combat voice is on, and let's dive. Where are we? We appear in cyberspace at the same time. Everyone begins moving out, and excuse me, everyone begins moving out at the order of the. This uh, wait, this passionate AI. Skina, Doda, Ikesoka. Oh, that's adorable, dude. <laughs> that's an adorable tiny mech. Or simulcrump, my bad. At least I'm not hoping. Uh, we wouldn't be deployed essentially to, I um, mean, essentially not in mass if there weren't suspecting trouble. Maintenance means that the security systems have to go offline for, for data abandons and hackers. It's the perfect chance to strike. That would be us. Excuse me. That would be us. Where A8, as far as anybody's concerned, for the time being. She nervously uh, tries to acknowledge she's at, she's, excuse me, holy shit, I can't read right now. She nervously tries to acknowledge as she's been trained. あと、フィードバックシステム、エトセトラ。もう、早速おもちゃにしちゃって。オーマイガード。勝手なことして怒られても知らないから。ナイス。心配するな。社長の許可は得てある。好きなことをトレーニングボディじゃなくて大丈
I didn't think it would be this much of a pain to, pain in the ass to work under an AI support. Still, this is boring. Not that I want to fight, but all we're doing is watching VSS viruses on patrol. <laughs> Open combat. こんな時は、えっと、まず警告シグナルを送ってみるんだっけ。ああ。お前。どうやら手間が省けたらしいね。よし、好きな、あまり無茶するなよ。Alright, let's begin this shit. Whoa, I think I can stun lock it with that. That thing does 50 damage. とりあえず俺に任せろ。フリーズ。抵抗すると発砲するぞ。面白い。やれるもんならやってみろよ、サラリーマン。Really? For a moment, I thought that blue little mat was actually like water or something that I couldn't transverse on. Oh shit. Shit. Big damage. Ooh, this is gonna hurt a lot. Oh my god, destroyed. Well, yeah, we're straight up killing these people. She sounds flustered. Um, flustered. She's uh, pretty shaking. Whoa. Can't read. Fuck, I didn't mean to skip that.
There's a badly shot up Simicrum in front of her. It looks like it's going to collapse any second, but it keeps getting closer to her. Her mech doesn't even have a scratch on it, but she's being forced back. <laughs> Apparently this one's pretty sharp. He's seen right through Suki now and can tell how green she is. I sign Kanen. Bloody. Get lazy. Or missed. Whoops. I didn't mean. Okay, that worked. No. No, I wanted a big blazer. There we go. Big blazer. Finish it off. Force crack. Nice. I think we maxed out uppercut. This is on hard, right? Yeah. She's still sitting at her console when I get back. She jolts when I pat her on the shoulder. Her face is pale. I know, oh, excuse me. I know how hard it, how hard for her it must be. We were on the other side until just recently. But I can't get uh, faint hearted now. In a way, this is my responsibility for taking her out onto the battlefield. She unsteadily gets up as she tries to convince uh, herself. She turns and walks out of the room, leaving the scent of her perfume behind her. I scoff at it, but she smiles uh, freely. Simulation she tries to smile again to cheer herself up. I do what I can to raise her spirits. Funny. A little color is coming back to her face. That's a relief. Yes. 
ごめんねその前に着替えてくる She blushes for some reason and rushes off into the locker room before being very conscious about her waist. And then I remember pilots are supposed to wear a diaper for their first battle in case of issues. Sounds like she needed it. Oh. I roll my eyes and smile, thinking about her plans for the night. I open the door to our rooms and we collapse in. According to the clock, it's already midnight. I shake my foggy head and manage to clear my thoughts a little. It feels like it's been years since I drank that much. What is that face? I managed to have her up. Uh, she just kind of uh, limply droops over me. She became a grown woman while I wasn't paying attention. Why am I thinking about that now? She groans as I lay her on her bed. I pour her a glass of water and think about tonight. We went out in uniform, planning to go just some dive bar, but ran into President Tachibana. She took us to some、uh, ritzy club of drinks. I have never seen, or, or I never even heard of, and way too much al alcohol in them. It's no wonder Tsukina got blitzed. There were two or three others with the president. They drank with us, but they didn't get tipsy and barely even said a word. I head back、uh, to her with her water. Sleepy. She's already asleep. I sit down on my bed. She's passed out in full uniform, like a total drunk. I stare at her, my thoughts wondering. Her uniform is、uh, disheveled and her、uh, chest is he heavying. Her sweaty palm skin feels like it's being branded into my eyes. I can't take my eyes off her. I don't think of her as a woman, usually. This feels completely new. She sleeps peacefully, unaware of any of my thoughts. At the very least, I have to admit uh, that uh, she looks very cute right now. But despite what I tried to convince myself, the devil's whispering in my head, filling, with my, filling my thoughts with wild ideas. Ah,、uh, yes, this is the dream section. I try to get out of bed, but my legs go rubber, rubbery and I fall over. I open my eyes. Sikina's face is right in front of me. My heart races, feeling her breath. Why can't I take my eyes off her? Her alcoholic breathing tickles my bangs. That strange fuzzy feeling in my chest gets stronger watching her like this. 
つぐらいなら起きない。Oh, no. I know it's childish, but I lean in close, co closer just before her lips touch, or my lips touch his,、uh, hers. Ouch. I pull back and stare hard at her. All those hazy drunk feelings evaporate in an instant. I've never knew my father. He was apparently just a teenager when I was abandoned at that orphanage. Tsukino's father took me in after that. He was an older professional hacker who barely talked and had an unkept beard, always surrounded by old equipment. But he was the closest thing I had to a father. Tsukino's dad? Funny how that isn't translated. <laughs> But I can kind of read it. Because、uh, this is Tsuki Moon. And then I m guess that's Hina or whatever. I don't recognize this kanji. I know this is parent and this is dad, so Tsuki knows dad. Yeah, I'm smart. <laughs> Alright, l back to the story. ああ。今日からここで暮らすことになったトールだすまんが面倒を見てやってくれうんトールくんはじめまして私ツキナササギリツキナだよよろしくね<笑>そんなに怖がらなくていいよ仲良くしよう Back then, she was close enough for me to feel her breath on me, too. Just an innocent 11 year old child trying to be my friend. I didn't know how to respond then, not because I was shy. I just didn't understand, period. I didn't like talking to anybody in those days. Maybe I was really. Excuse me. Maybe I was really. Or maybe I really was pretty close to autistic. She was always fussing over me, and eventually I started arguing with her. Her father was always watching over us without saying anything. It might have been because of him that I became a hacker, too. Which re reminds me, even though I, he was a hacker, he forbid us from diving into cyberspace. Toru, Ika, Hakka, da ke ni wa naru na yo. Kosei bo heki ni hikkakatta li. Despite that, he died in a car accident. A stupid, ordinary accident. Unbecoming of a hot dog or hacker. I lay a bit blanket over her and lie down in bed, feeling guilty. Oh, there's that face. Oh my god. It comes in the blink of an eye. Tsukino's waking me up. She's clearly struggling with a hangover. A hangover can, could be deadly for a semi-crumb pilot. Thankfully, there's drugs for at least the symptoms these days. ベッドに運んでくれたのってひょっとしてトールああ他に誰がいるって言うんだよ重くて大変だったよファンに Instantly a pillow hits me in the face 失礼よねどうせ私はダイエットもしてないおデブちゃんよ誰
She doesn't need to diet. She's in good shape. If she's fat, then about 90% of、uh, women in the world are. Another pillow hits me in the face. And so, our, oh, excuse me. And so our morning begins. A little carefree, a little stupid, but it helps to forget that we're soldiers for hire. アーコロジーってのもこうして見ると便利だな宿舎から勤務先まで10分もかからないんだからな I don't know why I just don't feel like that's how you spell archaeology I just don't and it always trips me up I mean I guess arc and oology is in it but it, it just doesn't feel right うんそうだね We leisurely walk through the halls. The archaeology is、uh, like a miniature city, so it's not a bad place to live. It's clean. We don't need to worry about the money wh、uh, while eating here. It's good working hours. We're st already starting to get used to life here. <laughs> Tsukino stops at the operation room and waves goodbye. What? Tsukino, where are you going? She smiles at me despite、uh, wearing the unflattering uniform. She feels more of a Like a woman now, then back in her street clothes. My mind goes back to last night. That annoying nosy girl grew, up, grew into a woman without me realizing it. The conversation breaks down and we just stared at each other. What is this weird atmosphere between us? Hold up. Nah, never mind. He's gonna do something stupid and check if I was really recording, but I'm pretty sure I am. Would really suck if I wasn't. She waves and walks off. My eyes drift down to her hips, swinging back and forth.、Mm. I don't know why. <laughs> I, s I couldn't care less about seeing her in just. What? Okay. I couldn't have cared less about seeing her in just her underwear a couple days ago, but everything about her reminds me that she's a woman. What's going on with me? Why am I getting so focused on her? Am I backed up or something? I'm not. I shelve those thoughts and walk away, wondering about it's just gonna, going to make it more. Wait, excuse me. Wondering, wondering about it is going, it's just going to make it get to me more than it already is. Uneventful days pass in a flash like this. The core of working it at the VSS is guard duty. So the job's more standing around and guarding than it is actually fighting. We're getting ready to dive right on schedule like we do every day. It's practically routine at all,、uh, anyway. Wait, what? 
Hold up. I think I misread the last one. Already, my bad. She's gotten used to the narrow jack. We dive together many times now. She's starting to get used to her simulacrum too. I've gotten used to living with her, and our relationship is the same as always. We sit down in our consoles and close our eyes. Alright. Oh, great. Oh, cool. Decode something. Anything else down here? No, that's the only thing we can do. <laughs> Ah, my ears, bro. I want to replace that uppercut, though. Come on, scroll down. Where is it? Combat voice. That is so annoyingly loud. Okay, so what did I used to do? Da, da, da. Shield. And then go into sidestep kick. So instead of uppercut, we need a new kind of uppercut. Boosted uppercut. Yeah. Does that work well with my combo? Alright, let's try it. One, two, three, one, two. And I couldn't get. Ah, oh, because of the heat. Produces way too much heat. Well, at least we know it connects, but I'm not sure if the whole uh, kick uh, connects or not. So, let's go ahead, turn on combat voices, <laughs> almost click dive, and then dive. Yeah. We appear in Mercury Tech's structure. It's one of the Edge companies working with the brain chips and one of BSS customers. You'll be surprised. Anybody who tries to hack someone under the protection of the BSS is either a major hot dog, hot dogger, or a rank novice. I dived dozens of times in the months we since we joined, but there's only been combat in maybe 10% of them, and only half of those was I actually a part of it. Oh. I'm a little surprised. I never got in an order like this before. I didn't expect an answer, but it responds to my uh, complaint. Uh, but it responds to my complaint oddly. Bachelor! <laughs> Don't tell me, it's you! <laughs> Come on! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. For a moment, I wonder if the AI has gone insane. Or maybe it's some kind of new joke logic that got programmed in. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. I got a gut feeling this is an advanced, vicious crack. There aren't too many people who can pull something like off like this. Is there only one person I could think of? <laughs> oh man! Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking love this dude. Sure enough, I sigh. It's Bachelor, our mystery, our mystery hacker friend. I haven't heard one word from him since the WND entertainment job. That's funny. 
<laughs> Dude, talking with them sometimes feels like feels like talking to a little kid. I guess that's probably what I was until recently. He's blaming us for Yuya's death. I want to angrily yell at him, but I hold it down. Are we finally are we finally gonna know more about Bachelor? A back door is some kind of improper way that excuse me. Some kind of improper way and that isn't secured. Either someone screwed up or somebody already hacked in. Otherwise, that wouldn't exist. Oh. Before I can figure out what to do, I'm warning uh, blares in my ear from my, from the real AI. President Tachibana appears. She looks unusually upset. So if they uh, try to run, I can't catch up to them. I'm supposed to put a bullet in their backs. I feel sick. Her line closes and the stupid support comes in. Oops. Bachelor must have published the existence of the security hole in order to cover his tracks, and now these idiots are hacking in. When the Bates uh, and Edge Company tech, there will be plenty of uh, fish stupid enough to take the bait. Oh, I wanted to melee. Yes! Got him! Ah, damn it, it didn't come out. 
Feels like a lot of it's done. Actually, didn't I master it? No, I didn't. <laughs> Alright, so Using a force crash, I didn't. I, I fucking missed it. Man, I love these run animations. Or dash animations, more accurately. Yes, exotina. Level? I can't tell. これでデータバンデットは片付けたか。問題は第二グループ。ワンちゃんたちをどうするかよね。考えていても仕方がない。連中のところに追いつくぞ。いや。いた。ワンちゃんたちよ。お前らフリーズ。the Semichrome bolts at my warning, like it's scared. 
and a teenage year appears on the comms. I feel annoyed, but also relieved. Didn't he realize he could be shot without a second thought for hacking into an edge company? But I guess we were the same when we hacked into the army structure. It cost us dearly to grow up. Oh, come on, dude. Oh. Oh, no. I'm at a loss for words. The communication line from the president opens up again. Please do not tell me I have to kill them. Ah, shit. As soon as she says it, a bunch of simulacrum appears all around us. No, dude. God. They don't have the time to scream. Their simulacrum disappears in a hall of fire. What the fuck? I stand up from the console as soon as I return, but my senses aren't all together yet. My legs give out under me. Tsukina gets up from her console and puts a hand on my shoulder. She's tr still trembling from the shock of the abort. I'm not liking this at all. President Tachibana is staring at us coldly. I stand up, my fist clenched. Instantly, everyone else in the room moves to stop me. She raises a hand to stop them. A, si a tense silence fills the room. She starts talking to me like she's lecturing a child. ぞくは顧客のデータベースに接触した可能性があるの。現状に守られているデータにはそれだけの力があるのよ。データは人を殺せる。ハッカー狩りのあなたなら理解できると思うのだけど、今の時代重要なデータは命より価値がある。法的にも全く問題のない行動。あの子たちは。I want to argue, but I can't find the words. She's not wrong, but... She 
She icily turns her back and mm, turns her back and at me and leaves. <laughs> Other pilots move between us to protect her. Even in their emotionless faces, I can see the hostility in their eyes. She gently grabs my arm. There's fear in her voice. I leave the operation room with her holding onto my arm. <laughs> 